Hey everybody on YouTube, just got a quick announcement video here that I'm going to do real quick. So, I recently decided to go back and do a Pokemon Y Nuzlocke. And why am I doing it? Well, Gen 6 was pretty much short-lived. We're moving on to the Alola region, and Gen 7 with Sun and Moon pretty soon. So, I decided to go back and revisit Kalos and just kind of figure out what I do like about X and Y, what I don't like what I thought the games did well and what it didn't, because honestly the last two years have been spent in Hoenn, <laughs> so Gen 6 was really heavy on VGC, which was awesome, but I kind of missed that single player experience of Pokemon after playing VGC for the past like two years or so, so yeah, just gonna do the single player adventure one more time before Sun and Moon hit. So. I'll be doing the standard Nuzlocke rules, so rule one, um, I'll only be able to capture the first wild Pokemon I see in each route or landmark, or area you could call it. So you know, if the first thing I see is a Scatterbug, that's the first Pokemon for route one, or two actually in this game. So on and so forth. Uh, second rule is I have to nickname everything and I'm going to forewarn everyone here that I am terrible with coming up with nicknames. So just bear with me. And the th third rule, of course, is if a Pokemon faints, we I consider it dead and it is released immediately. Should I capture a shiny Pokemon during the Nuzlocke, I'm not going to release it. I will put it in Pokebank because Gotta keep those, those shinies. I will not wonder trade any of my Pokemon as well. A um, couple additional rules I'm gonna do just just to make it a bit more interesting. Um, the first additional rule is no healing items during trainer battles. As in, I will not spam potions, full heals, any of those things. Um, my Pokemon can hold berries, so stuff like the Orin Berry, Lum Berry, or maybe even Leftovers, Shell Bell. I will allow held items, I just won't be using tr trainer items during battle. Um, and then the second additional rule I want to add is, I will not use the experience share at all. Like, no experience share, it makes the game way too easy in my opinion, and if I'm gonna grind, I'll just, you know, if I feel like it takes too long, I'll grind off camera, but I promise to always be recording, so if a Pokemon faints and I suffer a Nuzlocke death, you guys will see it. So, that being said, this is my revisiting Kalos Nuzlocke run, and I hope you guys enjoy or enjoy the adventure. All right, now time to time to suffer.